Hey, it's Timo here. I'm going to show you guys how to open the crushing chamber on an R3H. First step is to turn the key on and hit the reset button when it prompts, but we do not need to start the engine. Before opening the crushing chamber, we need to make sure that the gear lever is in the off position. So once it's out of gear, um, we can then remove our A key, which will be slotted into this section here, which means we can remove our B keys. Now our B keys are to remove the safety systems so that we can open the box. If we remove the A key and the machine is still in gear, it will not let us start the machine. But if it's out of gear, we can then start the machine even when the A key is released from the cabinet because it knows that the machine is in a safe state to run. One of the B keys that I've removed is used to open this door here so that we can get to one of the crusher bolts to open the crushing chamber. Before opening this door, we need to make sure that the rub belt is in the working position. And then... Once we got this door open, then we can go ahead and remove this one bolt here. Once that bolt is removed, then we can close this door again. Once we've done all that, then we can start the machine and fold up the rub belt so it's out of the way um, to where we want to get to our crushing chamber bolts. So these two bolts on this side of the machine need to be removed. So first remove the lock, lock nuts and then remove the, the normal nuts and take the bolts completely out. Once the three bolts from the other side of the machine are completed, then we need to remove this bolt here, this bolt here and this one up here. You will need another B key to be able to remove that bolt. Once the six bolts have been removed from the crusher box, three on each side, then we need to install the safety pins into the top apron on both sides. So one on this side and one on the other side. Once that is all done, you can now start the engine and engage the hydraulics to open the crushing chamber. Once the hydraulics are engaged, we're now ready to open the crushing chamber using this lever here. Once the crushing chamber is open, then we need to install the safety pin. And this is how you open the crushing chamber on a Keystrike R3H.